In this video, we will introduce you to WebAssign's Question Editor. To open WebAssign's Question Editor, click Create in the upper left corner and then select Question. What you see now is WebAssign's Question Editor. Let's go over a few of the different parts of our Question Editor. This is the Question Name field. This is where you specify the name of the question. We recommend coming up with some sort of naming convention to make your questions easier to find in the application and to make sure that each question you code has a unique name. Let's call this question HW for homework, chapter one, question one. It's also a good idea to keep a list of the questions you've coded in a separate document or in a spreadsheet so you can easily find and organize your questions by subject or type of assignment. This is the question field. This is where you type the question instructions and all of the code related to the generation of random numbers and calculation related to those numbers. This is the answer field. This is where you code the answer key. This is the solution field where you can add a work solution to be displayed to the student either after the due date of the assignment or after a number of submissions that you specify when you're choosing your assignment settings. The question field and the solution field are free-form text boxes that will display to the student most of the text that you type into them. Nearly anything that you can place on a web page, including hyperlinks and video, you can display to your students in the question field or the solution field. The code that goes in the answer field depends on the question mode that you have selected. You must select the question mode using this pull-down menu. The question mode determines how you want the student to submit their answer. 